Stand thy ground. Now is all my reason thrown down. Surely my sleep hath made me mad, for if I'm yet sane, then the world has become a lunatic asylum. Towers of glass loom over the tallest cathedral spires. Juggernauts of steel hurtle through the streets of London. The cobbled Roman roads which once I walked as a young crusader are now fused into a single ribbon of black stone. And those roads are clogged with night-walking Londoners, heedless of the danger from the vampires among them. Are they so emboldened by the phantom torches which pierce the night and stab my eyes? Surely my world has died, and all I love lies buried with it. My garments have moldered away with age, as my body would have were I not one of the damned. I cannot wander the streets clad thus. I have need of suitable garments. Oi! You need a lot more than some new clothes, you freak. You need a hand over your wallet. I know not thy language, but thy intent is clear from the mask that obscures thy eyes. Thou art a common cut purse. What? What's this about a purse? Shut up and give me your money. I shall give thee my blade instead. Yeah! Are you crazy? Ow! Oh, please don't hurt me. Take my gym bag, please. You need clothes, right? I got clothes. You take them. Just don't hurt me. I thank thee for this gift. Go forth. Steal no more. Uh, right. Okay. I'm gone. Hail and well met, Keeper of the Curio Shop. I am Kristoff. Well, well, well. What have we here? Thy shop displays items of great import. We would examine thy wares. Very well, then. Sumner Montague at your service. A pleasure serving you, Christoph. Good day. Do come back when you have more trinkets. Or more cash. We have a wide selection of Vitae for your dining pleasure. We have blue-collar brews, white-collar cocktails, and pink-collar daiquiris. We've got young blood, old blood, tainted blood, and blue blood. We've got innocence, we've got experience, uptown, downtown, Park Avenue matrons, and Bowery wine. Our special of the day is a succulent free-range virgin, fresh off the bus from Iowa, free of additives and preservatives. You'll find it a tart blend with a crisp and refreshing afterbite. Bottoms up. Ah. Blood's a bit diluted here, eh? What, you fresh out of the grave? Newly embraced? You look it, with that deer in the headlights look pasted on your gob. Do not presume to mock me, whelp. I am far older than thou knowest, and have no patience for the likes of thee. Well, well, well. Oi, barkeep! 
Get this antique bloodsucker a swig of Vitae, courtesy of Pink of Clan Brugia. Don't water it down, you mortal worm. This'll put some colour back in your cheeks. Air of the bat that bit you. <laughs> thou art Brugia? Art thou a Promethean? <laughs> you must be a fossil! The Prometheans are ancient history. Those nutters are long dead, along with their utopian ideals. <laughs> what a load of bat shit that was! What's your name, you crusty old relic? Forgive me, I am Christoph Romuald. Oh, Christoph Romuald. Christoph Romuald, once of the Order of the Sword Brethren. Once a Promethean Brugia, and now... Now I know not what. Weary. Alone. And damned. Damned, I can't help. But no one is alone with old Pink around. Especially not a fellow Brugia. Here's to Christoph, the last of the Prometheans. Welcome to the new world, Squire. Hope you like what we've done with the place. So, where will you be creating your Promethean paradise on Earth, Squire? All I wanted was to be with my Ineska. <laughs> A bit of crumpet, eh? I've heard of worse paradises, no mistake. But fair Inesco was taken as ghoul by that Zemitsi monster Vukudlak. After such horrors as I have endured, after losing so much, I awake to find I have finally lost all. Oh, for I have lost her. Yeah, not so fast, Squire. There's two ways your bird might be around. Ghouls can live as long as us legs. Of course, she'd need a constant supply of meatsy blood, or she'll fall apart faster than Thatcher's reforms. And if one of them fiends embraced her, she'd be around today as one of us. Well, as a Zumitsi. Thou dost compound my misery. I dare not hope such a thing. It would be a curse if Farinesca lived in such a state for a thousand years. Take it from old Pink. Anything's better than the quiet of the grave. There's hope even for us licks. We can climb the path to the summit. Or, or some such. Thou art on the road of Humanitas? Um, something like that. Thou speakest true. Should Ineska have been preserved for lo these many centuries, I shall seek after her. Whether she is ghoul to that monster Vukudlak, or one of his vampires, I shall find her. Find her and destroy him. He will pay in angry blood. And if I find only her grave, I shall... I shall be exceedingly glad for her soul. Rare thing, such passion in licks. Bloodless pack of cowards these days. Tell you what, I'll help you find this bird, Ineska. I hate the Zumitsis too. I could enjoy sinking me fangs into a fiend or two. My Lord Pink, thou art honorable. I accept thy kindly offer. You need me to tell you what's what. The camera really have a million little rules. Wipe yourself with the wrong hand, and these licks will call down the Justicars on you. What? Nothing. Just a joke. Thou art unlike the vampires of my world, for most only assisted me for their personal gain. <laughs> well, what's left of us, Brugia, gotta stick together. Even if you are a moldy old fossil. So, where did you last see this bird of yours? I last beheld Anezka before the collapse of the Zemitsi stronghold in Prague. I have since learned that the Zemitsi have traveled from thence to London, and by sea to a land west of London called New York. Perhaps this New York lies within Ireland. <laughs> no, ever since the famine, Ireland lies within New York! <laughs> There are isles west of Ireland? <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. Little place called America. The United States thereof. United States. An auspicious name. For I wish my own state reunited. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Perhaps in New York shall we find a criminal named Giovanni. Giovanni? 
They ain't one guy. They're a whole clan. A whole clan of criminals. They snacked on old Cappadocius and sucked down all his juice. The entire Cappadocian clan is gone. And the Giovanni have their power. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The Cappadocian clan seemed oddly gullible and ripe for domination by schemers even in my day. What became of the Brugia? <laughs> what hasn't? The Brugia are all kissed and made up with the Ventru now. In one big happy family called the Camarilla. The Toreador, the Gangrel, the Nosferatu, the Looney Malkavians, even the Tremere are bosom buddies. Out of fear of Gehenna, mostly. Our real enemy is the Sabbat. Made up of the Sumitsi, the Basambra, and a pack of the most vicious licks in the world. I don't care for the snobs of the Camarilla any more than the next lick. But I don't want to dig my way out of a bloody grave. That's what the Sabbat do to you. Beat you to the brink of death, then bury you. When you start starving, you claw your way to the surface, the madness killing any bit of humanity in you. So I work with the Camarilla against the Sabbat. My past is dead, and I am no longer a pawn servicing the whims of the elders in their jihad. It ain't good to be alone out there. It helps to have a gang at your back. Especially if you want to find this Ineska. I can't help you find the Giovanni, but I can help you find out about any bootleg shipping. The filthy Setites run all the bootleg shipping in London. I know a Setite knocking shop on the East End. Now let's put the boot into some snakes, but watch yourself. The Setites are a real bad seed. Knocking shop? <laughs> I know you had them in your day, Chris. Even a geezer like you can't be older than the world's oldest profession. <laughs> now come on, we're gonna need some supplies. You can sell some of that old junk and get some real weapons. We require an armorer and an alchemist. Uh, something like that. Defend me. Return to me. Stand thy ground. Get away. Get lost. Oi! Get over here! Stomping around. Oi! Get over here! Defend me. Return to me. All these horseless carriages and electric lights must be too much for your little medieval mind, eh, Chrissy? They are marvels indeed. Yep, you'll be lucky to make it in the modern world. Better stick close to me. I should bring you up to date on the modern world, Christoph. Let's see. Against all odds, peddlers and money changers defeated the priests and the nobles, so now merchants rule the world. Peasants rule themselves by voting on who gets to be king in his court. And some people still believe the world was created in seven days, even though men have walked on the moon. The Lord completed the world in six days. And that means that faith has not died in these 800 years. Unfortunately, not. Oof, I'm damned thirsty. I could go for a lickstick. Lickstick? A mortal. Feed in, you stupid get! We shall not take the lives of those we feed upon. Oh, bugger off! 
What do you care about the juice bags anyway? As long as we have greater power, we have an obligation to keep them under our protection. You're a fat lot of fun, aren't you? It is important. Okay, okay, no killing when I feed Christ. need to get you some real weapons. Those ancient artifacts ain't gonna do shit against licks with guns. You need to sell some junk. I bet that necklace would fetch a tidy sum. Never. Oh, terribly sorry, your lordship. Just trying to save your blood-sucking eye, is all. What? What do you want? Get lost! Brace that tender art of yours, Chris. These damned setite snakes ghoul the working girls and boys and sell them to mortals and kindred alike. Kindred pay to feed on the poor harlots, and the setites feed on the mortal customers. The juice bags leave tired, but they never suspect a thing. Cozy as you please. The mistress of the place is a setite called Lucretia. She sells some of their ghoul slaves to the Sabbat in America and runs drugs and weapons through those cargo ships of yours. Maybe she's picking up some extra cash moving mud for the fiends. Come upstairs. I'll flush those white cheeks. Hey, boys. I've got what you want. Love, you don't even know what I want. Fresh blood. I'll take it back. I guess you do know after all. Stand thy ground. Don't kill me! I'm not one of the Sedites. I'm from Clan Toreador. Prove it. Who are Cry Cry Cry? Uh, you mean the American band Cry Cry Cry? Aren't they that acoustic trio that even though they're all songwriters only does covers of songs by other groups and performs the most Come impressive- upstairs. Enough! I'll flush those white She's cheeks. She's a Tory, all right. Please protect me. I'll help you with whatever you need. We offer protection even if you can do nothing to help us. Oh, thank you. Thank you for freeing me. I've been trapped in that damn brothel for nearly a year. I was kidnapped by a handsome Sedite who came to see me sing in a club. The snakes wanted you to give the mortals some bloody good fun, eh? Slip them a little taste of Cain's kiss, did ya? Most mortals love the delirium that comes from being a blood donor to a vampire. Especially the way I do it. Where is their leader? We have questions about illegal shipping. That would be Lucretia. She's horribly powerful. She lives in the temple of Set below the brothel. I can't truly be free of her blood bond until she's dead. If anyone knows about shipping, it's her. She knows everything the Sedites know. Great. 
How do we get to her? In the storage area. Come upstairs. There's a locked door behind a oh, cheesy looking stage backdrop cheeks. of the Valley of Kings. There must be some secret way to open the door, but I don't know what it is. <gasps> Attend me. Return to me. Return to me. Everyone, come back to me. Come upstairs. I'll flush those white cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> 